Hello, this is Travis Sabin with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and today we're going to be talking about how you can better understand your data using a cohort table. So here in the cohort builder, I have added visits as my inclusion and my return metric. So I'm going to build that, and here I have my table, my cohort table output. Now looking at it across the board, I can see my retention that I would expect on any, any given period here. And then looking down at my results from my individual cohorts, I can see which one's performing better and which one's performing worse, including my December cohort right here is performing really, really well. There's something about this group that's doing a good job. So I want to create a segment by right clicking and it pulls up the segment builder with all the data automatically populated. All I need to do is give it a new name, my December 2020 cohort, and then I click save. And now I've got it over here in my list and I want to analyze them further using a free form table. So here in my free form, I'm curious which campaign is most successful for this group. So I'm bringing in campaign ID and instead of occurrences, I want to use checkouts because that's our primary metric. And I have this unspecified row throwing everything off. So I'm going to remove that. And now I can see how this is performing. And now I need to bring in that segment I created my December 2020 cohort, I'm going to filter my data using it. So I put it on top here. And now I can see that 10,038-B is my best performing campaign. But now not beyond knowing how many checkouts that led to, I want to know what product they were purchasing. So I'm going to break down this campaign by product to know which products this campaign is driving. And my PRD 1187 is my best performing product here from this campaign. And so really quickly, you can see how in just a few minutes, by starting with a cohort table, identifying a group that's performing well, and turning it into a segment and analyzing it further in a freeform table, I was able to uncover some really unique insights about this specific cohort and something that I can maybe take and apply to some of my other cohorts and other campaigns and things that I'm doing to help boost traffic and check out success across the board. So hopefully this video and example has been helpful in helping you see how you can better understand your data using a cohort table.